What's going on, you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're reacting to Free Run Beyond Journey's End, episode 18, called First Class Mage. If you like Free Run Beyond Journey's End, smash that like button. Follow my channel if you Yo! want to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you stay up to date. Let's jump straight into it. Oh, Arbus, they're finally here now. We're still a long ways. Oh, we're still a long ways away. 29 years. Right, so this is what we were seeing, and that's obviously what the episode is about. Is her getting the certification. Only a handful of mages have ever done it. I mean, Farron is good enough, you know. If she just believes in herself, like, she'll be able to get it done. I mean, look at her fight against Lugna. That was amazing. Magic uses like Ainsam. Oh, wow. Oh, so that's... That's what she's trying to say. Like, if you need a first-class mage, it means that there's something crazy going on there. Don't call me an old mage. Don't call me an I've lost 11 times to mages with less mana than me. Four of them were demons. Wow, she fought an elf? Crazy. The graph said you should be coming to V soon. Who's this now? For a second, she seemed like a demon. More bandits. Who told you to speak? Oh my gosh. Craft. Damn. So we are going to be seeing more of Craft. Is she traveling with Craft? Oh, probably not. Ubel, the mage. We have the eyes of a killer. I was gonna say, that's the thing that sort of made me think she was a demon. Damn. I wonder if she's gonna be going to the... to, to do the mage examination. Because she is going to Arbus. Oh, she is. Okay. Damn, so she's gonna meet Freerun. Crazy. Man, so just like that. Like such a short interaction with craft. <laughs> it's all up to you. The holy emblem. Oh, so it did work. Because, I mean, they did say you need, like, a minimum of, like, the fifth class mage exam to be certified. That's why she was just walking out. Oh. Man, not even Haita knows. Freerun. 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 
僕たちは君がすごい魔法使いであることを知っているフリーレン様私たちはフリーレン様が I swear that like the similarities between the two groups is so similar, you know, it's almost like <laughs> rubbing the head. It's so, it's weird. It's like Freerun is like, she, she's getting a second chance to experience what she took for granted the first time. Also, my sinuses are kicking up. So if I keep touching my nose, it's because it's just itching so badly. <laughs> Holy city of Wow, I expected to be injured or die during the test, or just on the journey, I'm guessing, so they can't take it. Wow, I expected to be Oh, okay. Right, of course, the time skip. Damn. Oh, it's her birthday. <laughs> Damn. Full flight. I wonder what it's gonna. Um. Oh, wow. We got some other mages. This is cool. Oh, he's fought against the remnants. Duncan. So we've got two second class mages so far Imperial Mage. Farron, the youngest mage. Wow. Let's go, Farron. Ubel. Oh my gosh, he killed someone. Wow. Bro, little do they know. They have no clue, bro. Freerun is next level. The second party. I wonder if she's gonna be in Urbel's um, group. Magical miscreants. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> she's tapping. <laughs> okay, so she's not in Obel's group. Oh, Farron. よろしくお願いします。基本的に行動は自由だが、試験区域の外側に出た者がいた場合は、その所属パーティー全員をその場で失格処分とする。クイキを囲むように塵一つ通さないような強力な結界を張っておいてよく言うぜ。寝られるわけないのにね。説明はちゃんと聞いてるんだ。They're <laughs> actually listening. So interesting. They're gonna be in that dome and they need to catch that bird. Doesn't this one with the the red hair? Um. Remind you of a, a young flammer? Lavine. And Kane. Oh, so they know each other. Oh, so it was that orange bird above them. I swear she looks like Flammer the Legendary Mage. Like, if she was younger. And her name is also Kane. You know what I mean? And compared to me. <laughs> You're like a teacher. Oi. 
Damn, not quick. Oh my gosh. Holy smokes. Oh my gosh. Faster than the speed of sound. Damn, that thing is powerful. Damn, that's crazy. Man, that bird is insanely strong and fast. Damn, look how it just wipes out the whole forest. But then again, unless the actual cage has like magic, uh, well, magical abilities, like, how would it even keep the bird? <laughs> oh, training outside of the... That came out of nowhere. Oh my gosh. What is that? Or who is that? Freedom. I told you to watch the skies. Damn. <laughs> what you? <laughs> oh! She caught herself before she hit the water. So basically, like they're the opposites, right? And that's how they're able to get each other to excel and that's why they're a good team she was talking about the rain thing is that maybe what she's talking about damn so that was it i missed for you beyond journeys and to be honest um, i did skip last week but now we see how many new mages there are cool designs you know each one seems to have their own backstory which is cool we saw craft the monk appear again it's always good seeing him because like originally i wanted him to actually travel with them just because i thought he's a cool character you know we had never seen another elf before we saw him and then it seemed like the journey was just so short with him and i was hoping that we would see him again and then obviously we saw him on that statue as well so that was pretty cool and then we see him now with Earth bell who's like looks like a really cool character as well but the thing is as soon as she came onto the screen i almost thought she was a demon and i know Farron has like the purple eyes as well but there was for some reason i felt like she could possibly be a demon but she wasn't then even craft said it he was like you know you've got a killer's eyes or something like that and that was that was exactly what i picked up mike the monk but then we see that she's on Farron's team and this first class mage exam seems like it's going to be really cool to be honest just because we've got all these powerful mages and also first when they were mentioning to capture the bird or whatever to capture the st style or the still i was kind of like okay so it's going to be like sort of these weak things but then you see how powerful the bird actually is and i'm like whoa okay that's that's a pretty interesting thing if that's just the first task I wonder where we're gonna get to. We obviously met Levine and Kane, who I said looks like Flame, the legendary mage, if she was younger. So just interesting dynamic between those two there. And just the fact that Freerun is sort of this um, 
sensei type of person in the group you know being the leader it's going to be interesting that she can actually hone the, their skill and actually do something with it but not much else it's going to be really interesting to see what happens further on but that's going to be it for me if you like beer and beyond journeys and smash that like button follow my channel if you Yo! want to subscribe and hit the notification bell because the boy is releasing every day of the week i'm gonna leave the last episode right up over here thanks for watching if you're watching i'm out peace in a bit